ready, Mom. Do you call that a clean shirt? It's only dirty on the outside. <laughs> I haven't got time to argue, Dennis. Now you go right upstairs and put on a fresh shirt. And while you're at it, wash those smudges off from around your mouth. Mom? Hmm? Instead of washing those smudges off, why don't I just paint over them like you do? <laughs> Alice, is it necessary to hold a bowling tournament while I'm trying to get my work done? I'm awfully sorry, Henry. Mom said the ball wasn't supposed to be upstairs, so I tried to bring it down. <laughs> Only it's full of iron or something. It won't happen again, dear. Well, it can't happen again, Alice. I've got to get that report in the mail by tonight. So you can have the evening free? What? Nothing. You want me to help you to work, Dad? No, thank you, Dennis. I can pull this lever after you punch those buttons. Adding machines aren't for children. Why don't you run out and play with Tommy? He's taking his clarinet lesson. Well, what's wrong with Stuart? Well, the main thing wrong with him is he fell down and busted his tooth off. Mm hmm? He sure is lucky. Now he can whistle without trying. <laughs> I brought you some coffee. And I want you to look at something I found in one of the closets. Honey, I can't stop for that. I'm trying to do two days' work in one. Oh, nonsense, a little rest will make you work twice as fast. Look at that. Remember when that was taken? Can I look? In a minute, Dennis. That was the day you proposed. Yeah. Your folks had a picnic in their backyard. Your dad barbecued. Your mother baked one of her delicious peach pies. You wore that dress that I was always crazy about, and I proposed. It was all a beautiful trap. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> Son, do you want to see a very handsome couple? Sure. Boy, what a neat swing. I'll bet you could see clear on top of the house in a neat swing like that, huh, Mom? <laughs> well, it was pretty nice. Will you make me swing like that? Well, you know I can't right now, Dennis, but maybe later on. Keepers, we got a tree and everything. All we need is a rope and a board to sit in. Uh, not now, Dennis. Thanks for the reminiscing and the coffee, dear, but I've got to get back to work. Hey, I know where there's some rope. Not the clothesline, Dennis. <laughs> oh. Well, could you hang the clothes up with a swing? Sort of sideways? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay, I'll find something else. I, uh, guess I wasn't being very subtle, was I, dear? Subtle? About what? Bringing in this old picture album was my sneaky way of trying to find out what you're planning for tonight. Tonight? Oh, you can go right on being clever. After ten years of being married, I'm glad my husband still wants to surprise me. Well, uh... Oh, that's all right, Henry. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Well, I guess I'd better tell you in case you want to get a special dress ready or something. Uh, we have a ringside table reserved at the Crystal Room. <laughs> crystal Room? Oh, Henry, can we afford it? Well, even if we can't afford it, it's our anniversary, and there's nothing too good for my girl. Oh, I'll wear my good blue dress, and I guess your tux is still all right. Let's see. Did you get a babysitter for Dennis? Oh, the 
That's the one thing I forgot. Never mind, honey. I'll take care of it. Uh, Alice, I still have to get this work done. If, if you can just give me four hours of absolutely undisturbed concentration, that's all I'll need. Don't you worry, Henry. You'll get it. <laughs> make a reservation for tonight, for two. <laughs> come back here. What in the world is all of this? Rope for my swing! You actually expect to swing from that? Not like they do to cattle rustlers. Sitting down. <laughs> Dennis, in the first place, it wouldn't hold you. In the second place, these are your father's suspenders. This is your father's belt. This is the rope to my bathrobe. Aren't they strong? Well, that isn't the point, Dennis. You're supposed to ask for things before you take them. Now, you get all the knots out of there and take them right back upstairs. Okay. Where's the scissors? <laughs> you take them upstairs and untie them. <laughs> the keepers, I've got Ask Mr. Wilson if he's got a rope. March. <laughs> Hello, kitty. No, Mrs. Wilson's taking care of her for a friend who's out of town. Hey, there's a bucket hanging on a rope up there. Yes, I know. I'm changing the soil in my flower box. Boy, this here's a swell rope. Dennis, don't touch that rope. It's holding up this whole bucket of dirt. When you threw it, that, can I have it for my swing? No. Get away from that rope, Dennis. I... Oh, I'm coming right down. <laughs> Dennis, I don't even want you close to this thing. Why, that bucket is very heavy, and it has to be lowered with extreme caution. Did you get all that dirt out of your room, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> the dirt came from the window box. It had to be changed because it's turned sour. Keepers, why don't you put some sugar in it? <laughs> you don't put sugar in it, Dennis. You replace it with clean dirt. Clean dirt? Keepers, Mr. Wilson, all we got around here is dirty dirt. <laughs> now look, Dennis, you stand right back here. That's it. So I can lower the bucket to the ground. You ever let kids go up and lie down with a bucket, Mr. Wilson? No. Look, I, you stay right back there now, see? Now stay right there. You afraid something's gonna go wrong? Well, I wasn't until a few moments ago. <laughs> I know, Dennis. Let's really play it safe. Now, you stay back of that trowel until I give you the all clear. Good old Mr. Wilson. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's heavier than I thought. Oh, <laughs> oh the darn knots. <laughs> Maybe if you were barefoot, you could untie the knots with your toes. <laughs> I'm not barefooted. Oh. I bet a monkey could do it. Yes. <laughs> Dennis, look. I'll allow you to step across the trowel. Just three steps forward, no more. Now, one, two, three. Now, reach down and pull that bow knot loose and then jump back. There. <laughs> Ah, I see, Dennis. Accidents can be avoided by careful preparation. Why, it's a fallacy that trouble follows you around, Dennis. Why, you did exactly as you were told. Are you through with the rope, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> yes, I'm through with the rope. Can I even for my swing? Oh, take it, take it. <laughs> There's nothing altruistic in the gift, Dennis. 
It's just that somehow it seems when you're over on your own property, things work out better over here. You mean you're not nervous anymore? Well, let's just say I'm beginning to recover. Boy, that's swell. Hey, I wonder where that cat went. Matilda? Oh, great Scott. Kitty! 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 <laughs> Don't talk too loud, Tommy. Why not? My dad's trying to work. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mom, can me and Tommy see that picture of your swing? Oh, of course. It's right over there on the table. Here it is. Look. Boy, what a neat swing. Yeah, we already have the rope. All we need is a board to sit on. Uh-huh. Who's that girl in the swing? That's my mom before she turned into a mother. Uh. <laughs> she takes up so much room, we can't tell how the rope's fastened to the board. <laughs> yeah. Well, we better find a board and ask somebody how you fasten the rope onto it. Come on. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mrs. Mitchell. Goodbye, boys. <laughs> Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. That you, kitty? It's only us, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> I might have known. We're looking for a piece of wood about this long, only wider. It's for our swing. And I'm looking for a cat. I haven't seen him lately. I haven't seen him at all. And I haven't seen a piece of wood about that long, only wider. So it doesn't look as if we can do each other much good, does it, boys? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It isn't your fault that I can't find that stupid cat. And if you're looking for a piece of wood for your swing, why don't you go over and ask uh, little Margaret's father? Why, he has a big wood yard out and back, if I remember correctly. Yeah! Boy, thanks, Mr. Wilson! All right. You want Tommy to come over to play house with me? Heck no, Margaret. Can we have this piece of wood? No. <laughs> we just can play house today, Margaret, on account of we're going to build our swing. How about tomorrow? Well, uh, it might take us two days to build it. In three days, then. Okay, in three days, me and Tommy will come over and play house with you. Uh-uh. I'll come over to your house. Okay. <laughs> Don't talk too loud, Tommy. My dad's trying to work. Yeah, you told me. Hey, Mom! Mom! Look, Mom! Mom! Dennis, don't shout. I won't. Look at the swell board we got over at Margaret's house. Oh, that's very nice, dear. I hope you offered to pay for it. We didn't offer, but we're sure gonna pay. All right, okay. let's go, Dennis. Don't forget now, I want to try that swing before you sit in it. Okay, Mom. Easy, Matilda. I won't hurt you, Kitty. Mr. Wilson's in our yard. We can't for you, Mr. Wilson. No, stay back. <laughs> He's up in the tree, Mr. Wilson. Well, thank you for not driving her underground. You're welcome. Mr. Wilson, we got a whoop and board and everything. So? So, when you get a ladder to get the cat down, would you mind putting up our swing? Dennis, you have an absolutely wretched sense of timing. Boy, good old Mr. Wilson talks well, huh, Tommy? Yeah. Except I never know what he's talking about. Well, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Because of your interference, I'm going to have to call the police. I think I hear my mom calling me. Me too. Oh, I'm not calling the police about you boys. I need them to get the cat down. Is Mrs. Wilson going to send you to your room because you lost her friend's cat? <laughs> Yes, she just might. Boy, if we knew that cat was going to go up in the tree, 
Maybe we could have got him to take the rope up for us. <laughs> yeah, except cats can't tie knots. <laughs> hey, there's Mr. Johnson in his ice cream truck. Maybe he can help us. Come on! <laughs> Yes, dear? Honey, does the entire nation have to stand out in front of our house calling cats or ringing bells? <laughs> dear, I have no control over the ice cream man. Do you realize how hard it is to concentrate with that, that frozen Swiss bell ringer out there? <laughs> I'm sure it is, dear, but he'll be gone soon. He'd better. You have no idea how I'm looking forward to tonight. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Yes. I got the impression this was a matter of life and death. If I'd known it was just a cat, I wouldn't have left my truck. But we just can't leave him up there, Mr. Johnson. We can't get up there to give him anything to eat. <laughs> I know, boys, but I'm taking a chance leaving my truck this long. You see, I've got a weak battery, and if the motor stops, I can't get it started again. It's still ringing. I know, but all right. But we've got to hurry. Come on. And while you're up there, would you mind tying this rope on that high branch? Well, I'm swing. Sure, sure. I'm sure there must be some mistake. My husband made reservations some time ago and... An hour ago? <laughs> I see. Well, thank you. Well, that'll take care of those bells for a while. There was no one around, so I just turned off the ignition. <laughs> What's the matter, honey? You should have talked to the Mater D instead of an ordinary waiter, Henry. What? The Mater D at the Crystal Room just called. He can't give you a table for tonight. He can't. No. The waiter you talked to an hour ago had no right to take your reservation. Listen, Alice, I didn't forget our anniversary. I thought about it all last week. I remembered it yesterday in the office. I was just about to call the Crystal Room, and this long-distance phone call came in. You'd better get your work done, Henry, so you can watch the fights tonight. There's no fight tonight. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> Honey, listen. Oh. <laughs> I had no idea this tree was... I don't hear my bells. <laughs> yeah, they stopped. Oh, my ice cream will melt. <laughs> you should have called the fire department, George. They're better at getting cats out of trees. <laughs> just a minute, just a minute. Is that your truck parked out there in the middle of the street? Yes, but well, I not. just put a ticket on it. Violation <laughs> of Section 285 of the vehicle code. Tell me about it later. My ice cream is melting. <laughs> His ice cream melts if his bells don't ring. What? Well, never mind about that, Mooney. How about the car? Look, criminals could be careening up and down Main Street, and I'm up a tree chasing a cat. <laughs> it's a waste of taxpayers' money. You take our rope and tie it up on that branch as long as you're going up there anyway, Mr. Mooney? It's for a swing. Look, I'll need both hands to climb up, boys. If the rope got up there some way, then would you tie it on? I suppose so. Thanks, Mr. Mooney. <laughs>
Yes? You have a freezer compartment in your refrigerator? Well, yes, but... Well, your son had me chasing a cat up a tree and caused me to get a ticket. So I figure the least you can do is let me put this stuff in your freezer. If I get my truck started again. Just say yes or no, mister. I got $42 worth of frozen fudgies melting on me. Some chowder head turned off my ignition. <laughs> uh, the kitchen's right, right, right through there. <laughs> I don't suppose you're the first husband to forget an anniversary, Henry, but to try to cover it up the way you did. Before you reveal any family secrets, lady, I'm not Henry. <laughs> what are you doing? It's all right, it's all right. I checked with your husband. Well, it's not all right. All my frozen meat will melt. It's just till I get my truck fixed, that's all. <laughs> Henry, there's a man out in the kitchen filling our freezer with ice cream. I know, dear. He's the ice cream man. <laughs> but he's taking out all my frozen meat. Well, it's a little complicated, dear. I, it has something to do with Dennis getting him to chase a cat up a tree. And, and then it seems that he got a ticket because I turned off his ignition. And uh, it'll all work out. <laughs> Henry, this is the worst day of my entire life. <laughs> Mine, too. I've simply got to get this work done. What about everything back in the refrigerator, lady? Just uh, be careful how you open the door. All right. Uh, you, Alice. Oh, come on in, Mr. Wilson. Say, have you got something to put on Sergeant Mooney's hand? Matilda bit him. Oh, of course. Next time, call the fire department, huh? They have asbestos gloves for this sort of thing. Now that I have a minute, officer, I'd like to talk to you about that ticket. Once the ticket's written, that's it. Sure, but there are mitigating circumstances. Did you or did you not park the truck in the middle of the street? Well, Mooney, the man's only trying to explain. All right, so you stay out of it. My battery's dead. That's why the truck is where it is. Boy, I heard that one before. Oh, quiet, Matilda. You caused enough trouble. <laughs> Why else would I put my fudgies in this lady's refrigerator? Look. They gone? Uh-huh. Honey, as soon as I finish my work, let you and I go out for dinner. Oh, thank you, Henry, but... I just don't feel like it. Hey, Mom, the swing's all ready. That's nice, dear. Aren't you going to come out and test it? Maybe later. Keepers, how are me and Tommy going to swing if you don't tell us it's OK? Boy's got a point there, dear. Well, your father's here now, Dennis. He can test it for you. But you're the one who promised him. <laughs> all right. Tommy, but Mom can sit and swing. And if it doesn't bust, and we can try it. Well, son, it looks like you did a pretty good job. Yeah, and Mr. Wilson's cat was sure a big help. So I hear. You gonna try it, honey? Oh, well... Come on, Mom, you promise. All right. Reminds you of anything? Mm-hmm. I can almost smell your mother's peach pie baking. Remember what happened when everybody went back into the house? I think so. On something like this, didn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. You're better than you used to be. I ought to be. I've had ten years' practice. <laughs> Higher. Okay. Not as strong as you used to be. You're <laughs> not as light as you used to be. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> you want to go play marbles? Gee, Dennis, how come? I think Mom and Dad are going to be using the swing for a while. Come on. <laughs> Come on.